Hi, I'm Trisha Driver, founder of A New Normal, and we are all about creating impact for our clients through inclusion. And I'd like to welcome you to today's Midweeker, where we're going to be talking about unconscious bias. So let's just get it out in the open. We all have unconscious biases. The human brain's bombarded with around 11 million pieces of information every minute and we can only process about 40 pieces of information in that time frame. So it stands to reason that as human beings we've evolved, we've learned that we need to form patterns, we need to make snap judgments and we rely on I guess what we call our gut instinct and that's really helpful when it comes to keeping us safe in potentially risky situations where you don't have the time to weigh up the evidence and the pros and cons of a particular course of action. It makes sense as a sound evolutionary tool. Where it's not so helpful is in the workplace. And if you think about one of the potential impacts of bias in the workplace, it's that people are almost completely unconsciously drawn to those who either remind them of themselves or remind them of someone that they've had a really positive experience with in the past. And on the flip side of that, it means sometimes that people look, again, completely unconsciously, less favor favorably on those with whom they don't feel like they have anything in common. So someone who's not in their in-group at work. So as an individual, there's a lot of different things that you can do to manage your bias in the workplace. And, and one really practical thing that you can do is next time you're making a decision in the workplace that's about another human being, just really slow yourself down and think about what am I using to make this decision? So is it kind of cold, hard facts? Is it data? Is it information that I've seen, things that I've heard? Or is it my gut instinct coming to play here? And it's not to say that your gut instinct's gonna be wrong. It's just that it's worth really thinking about and interrogating what those prompts are that have caused that reaction in you. So there's things you can do as an individual. And then from a company perspective, have a think about where the potential places are because your company is made up of people and where are those potential places in your organisation where bias can come into play? So is it as part of a recruitment process? Do you need to think about it in terms of internal moves, project allocations? All of those different areas are places where from a corporation and a corporate perspective, people's biases might come into play and have an impact on those situations. And if you're looking to unbias your organisation, that's what we do at A New Normal on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you want some support or if you want a conversation about this, please do feel free to get in touch. We would love to hear from you.